Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, December the 10th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 15, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 through 11, and the Song of Simeon. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell on your holy mountain? Psalm 15. Who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell on your holy mountain? those who walk without fault, those who act with justice and speak the truth from their hearts, those who do not slander with their tongue, those who do no wrong to their kindred, who cast no slur on their neighbors, who hold the godless in disdain, but honor those who fear God, those who keep their word come what may, who take no interest on a loan, and accept no bribes against the innocent. Such will stand firm forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Amen. Who shall, or, uh, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell in your holy mountain? The lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Now concerning the times and the seasons, brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anything written to you, for you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When they say there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman, and there will be no escape. But you, beloved, are not in darkness for that day to surprise you like a thief, for you are all God's children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. So then let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. For those who sleep at night and those who are drunk get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober and put on the breastplate of faith and love. And for a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build up each other, as indeed you are doing. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wing. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours 
now and forever. And now, O oh tender God, let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.